Bethesda has finally revealed to us the release date of Starfield and that they're going to be doing another gameplay sort of showcase of the game again. As part of this announcement, they've released a bunch of new gameplay and there's been lots of changes that I want to talk to you about in this video. But most interestingly of all, Bethesda has now released enough information across their gameplay trailer, announcement trailer and showcase and this video here that we can actually quite confidently piece together at least the main story of what we're going to be doing in Starfield and what it's about. They've specifically left us hints through all these bits of gameplay for us to figure out the story of Starfield. So I'm going to be talking about that too in this video. But first, this is my first impressions, initial reaction to the announcement trailer. And then we're going to go back over it. I'll timestamp everything below so you can skip ahead if you've already seen it. Starting off with a huge spaceship that I really hope we can explore. This is Constellation Star Station LO868. Welcome aboard. That's Earth. And that was the satellite we saw in the reveal trail. The eyes showing signs over another one of those big anomalies. Maybe you catch a smile and uncover the source of it all. This is the main story that they're talking about here, I think. Oh, that's from the drawing! That's from the blueprint we saw in the trailer! We actually get to see inside it now. Is it, is it a black hole? It looks like some kind of teleportation device. We're going to talk about this in a moment. 090623. Was that the release day? Or the event day? Hey everyone, from myself and everybody here at Bethesda, we are so excited to finally tell you when Starfield is coming out this year. You know, we have poured ourselves into this game and even I'm surprised how much we can pour. It is large. Uh, we're playing the game all the time. Shout out over here to lead producer Tim Lamb. Old school fan. That's the guy from Oblivion, right? He was the guy testing it on the making of Oblivion. As you may remember him from the Oblivion making of video where he's sitting on a similar <laughs> sofa doing similar. <laughs> I remember watching this. I highly recommend going and checking this out as well. He literally ran through the first dungeon, like the sewers in Oblivion. Hundreds and hundreds of times because they were going to do like a showcase at E3 of it on stage live. And he had to test that there were no bugs in it. But also uh, this June, we're going to bring you into the studio and give you a deep dive in the game at our Starfield Direct. There's oh, okay. There's so much that we still have to show you. The game has many of the hallmarks that you'd expect from us, but it's also a very unique experience. And Dude. again, thank you all. Uh, for all of your excitement about the game, your support, your comments. We really do uh, read it all. And look, we know you've waited a long time to play something new from us. You know, believe it or not, we're kind of the same. Uh, we miss it. And we really just can't Aww. wait for you all to play it. So thanks, and we'll see you soon. Okay, so September 6th, 2023 is the release date. But then Starfield Direct is on June 11th. So this is rendered in-game footage of that same satellite we saw in the original trailer. Here it is again in the original announcement trailer. It actually has changed a bit, but it still has the same aesthetic. Come aboard. And then in the next scene here, we actually see ourselves boarding on that very satellite. And it looks like it was orbiting above Earth because it's got an ocean, clouds and an atmosphere. It looks very much like Earth. So we board onto this satellite and now we get to see inside that actual satellite, which is super interesting. They've even got a rock that they've mined from a planet here. Don't think we've seen that character before. And then we get a beautiful view of what must be Earth. It looks familiar, but not that familiar at the same time. And then he says some really interesting interesting things. I'm just going to let this play. Maybe you catch a smile and uncover the source of it all. So this and what we see here, I think this is referring the source of it all. In the teaser trailer, we see this blueprint with all these interlocking rings that seem to, you know, spin around each other just over here. You can see very clearly the same thing. If we go back and listen to what the lady says. It's the key to unlocking 
It's the key to unlocking it all. It's the key to unlocking everything. And Todd Howard was asked about this in interviews. He actually said Starfield kind of poses some big questions, like the question of why are we here? What are we doing? Where do we come from? Like, how was space created? And he even says it addresses questions in religion as well. So whatever this thing is, it addresses the big questions of the human race. But when we see it here in the trailer, it, it looks very alien. Now, we also know from the official gameplay trailer that we're going to be collecting these sort of artifacts, which the game refers to the maps. And these kind of look like they might fit into whatever this thing is here that we're looking at. In fact, if you look closely, you can see these white little sort of logos here, very alien to us. These are the exact same symbols that we see here on the artifacts. We even see them again right here. It says Alpha, Beta, Chai, Delta, and it's got these same sort of weird squiggly line shapes. And then there's even another connection. You can see this sort of building here. It looks exactly the same as this mystical thing that we find on this planet. And if you look at the Starfield poster as well, you'll see that that thing, that same thing we see in the gameplay, looks like it's shooting a spaceship out of it, like some kind of black hole or teleportation system. So whatever this thing is, Starfield has made it very clear from the gameplay and trailers and information it's given us so far that it is, it is the key to answering the question of who we are, why we're here, what religion is, and all those big questions that, you know, really fascinate us as human beings. What a compelling story. So we sort of head inside towards it. It automatically starts opening, which is interesting. There's an interlocking puzzle here, and all these rings sort of slide together to obviously lock. But as our character specifically approaches it, it starts to unlock. Now, I don't know if that's because we're special, or there's a reason for that. Maybe we collected the artifacts and slotted them into here or something. And then we go inside and we see what appears to be some kind of crazy teleportation device. Your character is actually going into whatever this is, and inside it is just this black void. And then after a few seconds, you just disappear and you vanish into what looks like, you know, the Doctor Who sort of wormhole. And that's why I think it's a teleportation device. You know, it's like going into light speed or something. So this guy, Tim Lam, is probably doing the exact same thing he did in the making of Oblivion. He's probably running through the gameplay that we'll actually see in Starfield Direct. That I'm sure Todd will be on stage playing the game with another developer, maybe Pete Hines. And they'll be looking at the game and showing us what they've changed and what we can do, hopefully more on building space stations, our spaceships, and the new conversation system that Bethesda has made for the game. But during the gameplay, in the background, we can actually see him searching the chess and the loot menu there as he's picking up those items. Just here, we can see him change weapon, and it looks like there's several different weapon variations, including a melee weapon, maybe some abilities at the bottom here, but most of these are just weapon wheels. Also right here, we get to see a completely different biome in Bethesda's game. We can see this character is using some kind of revolver with an extremely long barrel on it, potentially modded like in the Fallout 4 weapon modding system. These look like wind turbines to create power, I guess. And then this lady is on a completely different planet, and we know many of these planets will be procedurally generated. And right here, we get to see dinosaurs just for a few seconds. Like, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. These dinosaur creatures, we actually get to see them running around and moving in an animated way. The trailers before didn't really show us this. And then next, we immediately see some of the character customization and armor sets. There's a hide helmet option, which is awesome. You can actually hide your helmet, but still get the armor set value bonus bonuses from it. There's also a item sort option as well, and you can inspect the items and their stats, I assume, too. Now, interestingly, the space trucker helmet only has a DR, which I guess is durability or armor value of 22. And you can see here that it has explosive damage and then energy damage resistance is plus 30. And then I don't know what this is. This could actually be oxygen. So how much oxygen you level you have while wearing this. There's also temperature, atmosphere, radiation. It also has a price value as well. And then we see the Shock Troop Space Helmet, which has completely different values on it compared to that one. So it's very cool to see all the stats that we're going to be tracking and how space is going to be a harsh environment, it seems. I wonder if they're going to kind of launch the game with survival mode, like with Fallout 4. 
if you want that experience, you can be affected by all the elements of space or not. And then on the next slide, we get to see this. Now, apparently this creature is called a hunting something. Interestingly, it's level 75. I don't know if Starfield is going to have a level cap. Also, they've redone the HUD again. You can actually see the light side, the dark side of the moon. Also, you've still got the oxygen and CO2 levels. You've got like the map marker pointing you towards your objective, any locations around you. Or this seems to be in some kind of space station that's overgrown with like an alien infant station. I love that he's got the NASA star system picture as well in the background there. You can subscribe for future in-depth analysis of the upcoming Starfield content. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you there.